Hello everyone, Eric with Odo and CCG here. Today we're taking a look at Tier Limit Therion versus Hero. This was one of Sean's replays from a war match, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look right at it. I think overall Tier Limit's gonna be better, though there may be a Tier Limit Hero variant of the deck. Let's go ahead and take a look. Just so you guys know, I will actually be moving. Um, we're going to have a new studio uh, specifically for Ozone TCG and content creation, and as well as the TCG player shop because we are getting all of those Power of the Elements cases. Be sure to take a look at the shop later once it's live. We're going to be um, down for about two days or so while we're getting set up. Otherwise, um, we'll be back to content creation at that point. Of course, Sean goes first. Rhino Heart, Rhino Heart is met with Imperm. Um, hero player goes for the Ferris and Shadow Miss play already. Let's see, yep, he's gonna book this with Meta Noise. Meta Noise is going to send Murley. Murley will fusion on the next available chain. Forget close, Hafenis goes that. Denier, because he has Malicious in hand. There it is for DPE. Uh, DPE is really not gonna do anything here, so he's gonna Ash. Increase the special, and go from there. That is, what's it called? That is gonna be Kaleido Heart, or Dragostopelia, depending on what happens. Let's see. Oh, maybe he's going for Kaleido Heart. Okay, cool. Uh, the card is very powerful, especially in the beer, um, especially versus Hero as well. I don't think Hero can play around this card. It's hard to play around it with the random mills. Um, in general, but I think this deck really struggles once they get to mass change, um, which they can actually play. I think Tier Limit Hero might have some validity. Um, you just play a small hero engine like maybe Stratos, Shadow Mist, a Hero Lives, stuff like that, uh, Denier, Malicious, something like that, um, and not going into a lot of the other plays. DP really, I don't think is good anymore. Um, unfortunately, at least good in the, good in the competitive scene, the format. Um, simply because it just doesn't do enough. Um, the, the Destroy one doesn't really hurt any deck, um, specifically Tier Limit, uh, Sprite, even Exo Sister. There's just nothing it can really do. Um, don't really think it's worth playing, but there may be some experimentation, or it just may be extra pressure um, that might do enough. I guess we'll just kind of just see how the format goes. So we're gonna go for the Cross Crusader. Yeah. I, too many hero monsters at this point. I think there are like 150 hero cards. Too many here. Um, so it's going to be met with Dragos Pelia. Even though Sean doesn't have anything, he's still able to grind for the next turn. Then Wonder Driver is summoned. Let's see. He can go Deny or Summon itself. Shuffle Malicious. Get two. And trigger. Wonder Driver to get Polymerization back, which I think that's the play he's going for. So that plays all good. Malicious Shuffle, Malicious Effect. I just don't see what else this does. I guess it gets you to one of the fusions. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that. Mm. This card is very good, though. Uh, if I were to play Hero, it would be, be because of this card. Um, being able to search Miracle Fusion was such a good fix for the deck, and now you can just go into, um, I think, what is it, he Trinity? I don't remember which hero it is. Um, that is a very strong card. Into a deck like Sprite, you can definitely destroy most of their interruption if you're able to get to that. So he's going to go to... Uh, I like that. Uh, in this case, he's going to go F zero. Um, I don't think this card does enough either, but it does play around Dragos to Paleo. Liquid Soldier, I don't think Liquid was used earlier. Yep, okay, there we go. Discard that, he could go. Emergency Call, Search Neo, Honest Neos. Yep. They technically break the board. This is the strong point though of um, of the deck, you know, if you happen to have a warrior or a plant, Dragos Topilia is a plant, so it does interact with uh, Lily Boria in that regard. This interacts with Reino Heart. Um, this doesn't inter interact with any Therions, but depends on what the top deck is here. Because there's no real interruption. This doesn't count enough. You can play around this. This Murley summon, or excuse me, top deck is insane. DP just doesn't matter. 
because Dragostopelia is in the graveyard too. Um, so good. Again, this is a situation where DP just doesn't matter, and then milling uh, Regulus is just insane. So I don't think Sean plays a second Clyde Heart though. Let's see how he's going to play through. He's going to, yeah, go Regulus, effect. So he is going to, okay, he's going to force out that, and then go, okay, he's going to go, yeah, kick Colossus card. So stupid. One, literally, I think the most pushed card um, of the second half of 2022. Uh, again, why it's an ultra, I don't know. It should have been. Um, it should have been a secret. At least, let's see, he summoned... Okay, so what did he... What did he... How did he get Kaleido Heart back? Oh, he summoned it with Kit Kalos. Okay, that's interesting. That is a good interaction. Yeah, Kit Kalos can summon any tier limit, um, including another Kit Kalos from the graveyard, or in this case, Kaleido Heart, and he went for Kaleido Heart. Again, it triggers a special summon. You guys have seen the tier limit guide. Um, Kit Kalos and Kaleido trigger a special summon. In this case, he's gonna use that to, to bounce whatever he bounced here. Um, and then using Celiac, this is very threatening. Uh, let's see. Because this will matter versus Sunrise. And then this triggers summon itself, bounce sunrise or whatever, and there's just not enough gas left. Especially because denier has already been used. Um, I just don't know what you would do here. In this case, honestly, um, getting this with Dark the Dark Charmer is actually relevant, and this is just—it's absolutely crazy how powerful this card is uh, moving forward. I think if your deck has a dark or the capability to summon a dark monster you play it, and that is game one from there. There's just no gas left attacking over monsters, just doesn't matter. So game two, Sean is gonna go second. I don't know his side deck currently. Um, only thing I do know is that he plays Dark Law and Mask Change 2. Otherwise, I don't know what else. Um, Plasma, I don't think it's good. This card is just skill drain, but um, it's, it's skill drain just doesn't do enough in the format. So let's see for hero live so this is important here so he's gonna get the mass change which does matter for dark law um it if i were this player i would have chained mass change even though you don't get the shadow mist being able to potentially banish um, a card from the hand is good enough so he's gonna get ferris ferris effect discard plasma typical increase ferris increase uh vion hero i mean <laughs> i think there's merit to playing again a variant of this deck but not just pure hero i just don't think it does enough other than terrible mask uh mass hero dark law that's the only card that it has it's like exo sister with dimension shifter um flu is with dimension shifter i it's just the crutch that keeps it playable um so he's going Ooh, let's see this one wake up your don't know what he was trying to summon with that. I don't know what Wake Up Your Elemental Hero does, um, but he does have the mass change, but this plays very much into this. Let's see what he does. Okay, so he's just immediately gonna fusion summon, okay. Into, and that's met with DD Crow. Good card versus this deck. I still think Sean is fine, even though he's going to be met with mass change. Uh, let's see what he does. Dark Law. Get Shiren. Ash Misk. Or, excuse me, Mist. Go from there. He's going to set that. Okay, he's going to go for Goddess. Okay, yep. Very, very good card. Um, negates all of the opponent's monster effects on Link Summon, and it is unaffected by DPE. Um, negates DPE's effect. If you don't have this card already, you need to get Underworld Goddess. Especially for this deck, for this variant. Yeah, you, you just need it at this point. Um, regular is gonna go to Lily. Lily send itself for Coliseum. Coliseum get full. Uh, I don't know if this was better if 
Regulus is better. Oh, he might just protect itself. Such a good mill. Oh my goodness. This, that was an insane outplay. So in that case, he milled uh, Murley, which would have summoned Kaleido, Heart Shuffling, probably Rhino, Rhino and Kit Kalos. Probably double click Kalos. Uh, well, okay, Murley plus Rhino plus Kit Kalos, Shuffle. Shuffle that back. That would have just been game even if he played like a second Dark Wall. I don't know if they do. Um, this card, I think, single-handedly won the game because it was so just such a powerful effect to, to remove that Dark Wall. So that is that was a straight 2-0. Um, kind of got outplayed, honestly, and, and not being able to revive DP does matter here. Uh, I don't think he, he didn't use Denier this game, but that was a really quick match. Um, again, I think the, the, the Therion version of Tier Limit it definitely has a lot of potential, and no one's talking about it. Um, one of the counters, though, is Dimension Shifter. That's just going to be in the format, though. That's basically half half the decks in the format are going to be playing it. Um, I still think Tier Limit is going to be very potent. Um, there are ways to build around it, but I also think that Dimension Shifter might be a target uh, for the Forbidden Limited list. We'll have to see. If you guys like this, of course, make sure to let me know, you know if there were any misplays or anything like that. Eric with those on TCG. See you guys in the next one.